Welcome, Sagittarian. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, Sagittarian, let's get to your reading. This is the month of January, January 2021. And let's see what is happening. So you have hurt in the first week. You have water in the second week. You have the devil in the third week. And in the fourth week, you have the energy of the Empress. Now, Sagittarian. Wow. Wow, Sagi. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sagittarian. What is happening to my Sagi? Okay, so the Seven of Cups, the energy and the set, and the devil, and the Seven of Cups. Wow. So what we're seeing in your foundation, Sagittarian, is that um, the Nine of Cups, your wishes and dreams, you're trying to balance in out some sort of a situation. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of emotion. January is going to be a very emotional month for you, Sagittarian. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of emotions is here. And uh, whenever the energy of the devil comes up or wait, uh, um, the Seven of Cups, so, um, that is not a positive energy, um, especially with the Seven of Cups, because it's as if fleeting energy is transpiring. So when we look at temperance, so we are looking at temperance, and temperance has the energy of the Nine of Cups. So a lot of you are trying to balance out some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring. And, uh, um, you know, you're trying to put like a place, some sort of a happy face when you're not really happy about something and you're trying to place some sort of a happy face. At the end of the game, um, the happiness, you're not feeling it. You're trying to put the best outside in order, but it is emotional for you. It's very, very emotional because people are now aware of what was happening and what was transpiring. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out in the second week. I see you're trying to balance out uh, friends. You're putting on a happy face as if everything is okay. But you, um, Sagittarian, are dying inside. Judgment call comes up. Um, and this judgment call that comes up is as if you, Sagittarian, are pretending that everything is okay. But it is not okay because you have a lot of the um, secrets and stuff that has had transpired that you're trying to keep from friends. And you're pretending um, with your friends that everything is okay, but it's not okay because you are dying inside. The energy of the devil comes up in the third week and I see some sort of a um, 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 dishonest friendship and I see you're going to be um, finding out in the third week that friends are not really honest and you're going to be turning your back and leaving these friendship and these situation behind and moving forward, okay? So, um, sorry, Saji, I have to really fix your cards. So, it's, 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 it's going to be emotional. Um, whatever is happening, emotions uh, is here and it's uh, um, very rampant. Um, because you are um, basically walking away um, from some sort of issue, some sort of emotional problems and issues that you were going, um, you were dealing with. Um, you want to end this emotion. It's as if you have had enough. Um, you have just had enough. You have had enough with a whole lot of um, emotional situation in your life. It is taking a toll on you. And I see you just want to let it go and move forward. So um, however this is coming up and transpiring and whatever the problem is, uh, there is some sort of an emotional situation that you're dealing with that has to do with a house um, for some of you or with your materialistic things. And you are like, uh, I, I am so out of it now. I really need to, to find my balance again. I really need to... Uh, um, to re enhance and the energy of the devil is uh, um, issues and situation, emotional issues and situation with friends that you want to let go. 
you want to turn your back and let the go there is so much that is happening it's as if you're out in one fire another fire is blazing up so you have to be aware and on top of your game as to what is coming up and what is transpiring emotion is rampant 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 um at this in this month and a whole lot of you mothers are very emotional over what is going to be happening to your child in the future so happiness is uh, something that you're hoping for and so you're putting on um a smile on your face but um inside you're dying and 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 you know with friends friends are there for you but yet still um you know it is fleeting because uh, you are aware that uh, um your world is about to just uh, a tower moment is coming down and you're not sure when is it coming but you know it is going to be coming in the month of january so it is um a crazy sort of uh, energy um that is coming up so be aware so it's kind of rocky um in the first week the first week is that you're putting your best foot out the second week um is really water emotion emotional situation with friends some sort of information could be coming in um from friends in the second week in the third week you're going to be realizing that your energy is being pleated um you're trying to bring back balance um, but you feel as if your energy is totally depleted. Then we look at the, the situation with the mother where some of you um, having some sort of a problem you need to resolve with your mom. And this is depleting your energy. However, this is happening and transpiring. This is uh, so much depleting your energy. So there is some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation um, that was being created around you. Um, did you create it or is it something um, that you have done in the past that is coming back? But a lot of you are unhappy, unhappy about some sort of an issue, unhappy about your stability. And it is going to be good for you to call in the spirit of place okay call in the spirit of place that is going to be helping you um to balance out uh, whatever is transpiring because a lot of you are trying to find balance uh, um balance out your emotional situation and it is as if uh, you balance one thing out another thing comes up then another thing then another thing and you're being depleted of uh, your energies so january is um really a time where you're going to be trying to revamp your energies and try to reassimilate all that was going on around you and try to um you know uh, uh, figure out uh, um what is the best thing to do and i see um, a lot of you want to just turn your back uh, to a situation and let it go and move on to create a uh, um, better solution in your world. So it's as if uh, some of you Sagittarian in the past uh, has gone too far and did something that was uh, out of uh, the norm to, and it is now coming back to affect you in this month. So be aware of that. So, um number six the energy of number six is here okay energy of number six is here and number six is about materialistic and stability okay um it's a very emotional month um on the third of the month um, some sort of an ending is coming in on the third of the month for some of you. Um, some sort of a problem issue with your mom uh, ending with uh, some sort of your materialistic stability on the third of the month. Some sort of information um, is going to be coming in where you decide to just turn your back and end a situation. Um, on the 13th, the 15th of the month, um, some sort of opportunity comes up, but this opportunity, you have to be aware of it. Do not um, sign any contract. 
it's not a good month to do anything it's not a month with yes it's not a month to, to make any decision it's a month to, to um, um, stand back and replan what is um, your future um, on the 14th um, there is going to be some sort of a um, positive emotion on the 14th um, so be aware of this but on the 20th there is going to be some sort of a problem some sort of a information is going to be coming out uh, um, some sort of a news is coming in from friends uh, so be aware of that uh, so call in uh, the um, spirit of place the spirit of place is going to be helping you guys um, it is good um, number four is here um, where the energy of the spirit of place is uh, calling in the spirit of, of your house or where you work in order to bring balance um, this is going to be needed um, to um, really revamp um, a whole lot of situation in your world abundance is here but um, this abundance can come up in emotional abundance with a nine of cups so it has nothing to do with money it is a emotional abundance so be aware of this so Sagi, um a lot of people a lot of fire sign is feeling um feeling this coming in a lot of fire sign so um you have to be oh my god aware of what is happening and transpiring so um Sagi, a whole lot of uh, um feelings a whole lot of issues a whole lot of uh um resolution that needs to be made emotional um imbalance emotional situation that needs to clear up um a lot of you are just putting a smile on but in your heart um your heart is broken and you're realizing and and seeing um the truth of what is happening around you so you have to be aware and on top of your game of what is coming up for you because uh, there is a whole lot of transition that is going to be happening for you guys. So, so situation with friends, uh, um, opportunities that is coming in, but you're not aware or not, you're not sure if you should um, take these opportunities that is coming in. A lot of you are going to be thinking about uh, just walking away from a situation because it no longer serves you. You're not up to the point of keeping up uh, with all the things that is happening. It's as if you're emotionally depleted um, in this month. So um, be aware, emotional of abundance is here, but um, you have to ask for divine help um, in order to um, balance out your emotional self. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste until next time. Remember, if you would like to see the extended of this reading, um, you know, be open to um, become a member and check out the extended to see what is happening. What I'm really seeing is that whenever um, this reading is so sad and dreary, um, then with the extended, you realize why is it and what was playing and what was happening there. Judgment call on some sort of a situation that some of you Sagittarian have done. Um, Sagittarian women, 50 years and older, there is going to be some huge judgment call that is coming up on some of you for some sort of a, um, on, uh, um, this honest play that you did. And I see people, situation, information is going to be coming out where people are going to be start looking at uh, something that you have done and it is now coming back uh, to affect you at this timeline. So you have done it in the past and now in this timeline, it is coming back to affect you. And you, Sagittarian, have to really find inner strength to deal with the issues, the problem, in order to resolve some sort of a un, um, dishonest play that some of you have done in the past that you have to be Ealing coming back now in the future. So it is emotion, a whole lot of emotions, um, a whole lot of uh, um, uh, wasted energy that you're going to be dealing with, 
where you're like, oh my God, I'm so tired of all of this. Um, it's as if some of you are going to be just stepping back and just letting things go because it's as if you realize so, um, my ego have placed me in the wrong um, position and I am feeling as if uh, this as, you know, take my energy, take everything within me. And I see that a lot of you are, are feeling drained. You're feeling drained. Um, you need like some sort of an energy because if you notice, it's all about the cups energy. It's all about emotion, emotion. First week is emotion. Second week is emotion. Third week, you're dealing with a whole lot of emotion. Fourth week, there is also um, emotional situation that at the last week you think, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to be letting this go. So I'm open for the best for you guys. Archangel Uriel is here. Call upon Archangel Uriel. Call up on the Archangels to stand with you and guide you. Um, you know, visualize yourself in a rainbow ray flowing through you and surrounding you and surrounding everything around you. Um, finding out and seeing what has been happening, what has been transpiring and how people seem to be um, working against you in some sort of a way. But it is what you have given out in the past is coming back to own you in the future. I got to go. Namaste until next time.